festival this morning, uh, shaving is no longer as simple as soap and water. It's now a designer experience with a bewildering array of gizmos, gimmicks, and genuine innovations. I'm totally confused when I go shopping on a Saturday, but here to help sort it all out is Liz Earl. Hello. Hi, Liz. And three brave, three brave individuals, uh, Todd, brave. Tim, yeah. and Gary. Very brave. And they, they just got here. And <laughs> they arrived literally minutes ago. And they've all kept their stubble on for yep, the last couple of months. For us. So what are you going to show us, Liz, to begin well, with? Well, we're going to show you, basically, what you have to do to get a very clean shave is you have to encourage the bristles to stand out and not stick close to the skin because the further out they stand the easier it is to slice them off right, yeah. and I've got here a body shop um, face scrub uh, if you want to um, lather that up you can see it on the palm of his hand now this has got little buffing grains in it and it just lift, lift, lifts the bristles literally up and uh, you just wash it off with lots and lots of water. So you now, have to wash this off okay. when, when you've done yeah. Yeah. Feels it. Okay, feel right? Yeah, it feels all right. Some guys say that they get it actually caught in the beard. Yes, the, what, so, the actual um, grains, you mean, between yeah. them, yes. Yeah. yeah, I can feel that, it's not too bad. Yeah. Does that work if you haven't got the sort of the actual two-day-old designer stuff that Todd's Very good, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just the sort of in the morning. Three okay. days. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. very chic, anyway. But if you don't fancy that idea, you can use a scruffing lotion. Now, this is from Clinique, and basically it's a skin toner. Scruffing lotion. Not show names yes. to the boys so they don't feel embarrassed when they it's ask for it. No. Skin toner, and, uh, scrubbing lotion. All right. This you can just use again. If you use it with cotton wool, you tend to get that caught in the beard. So use it with a tissue instead. Okay, and and, and that does the same thing. It lifts. Yeah, it lifts the beard. The beard out. Right. So now moving on to the actual <laughs> shave. We've got one of our pigs. Ribbons, I think, aren't As aren't they always do, yeah. yeah. Now in a, in a rock survey, they found that 40% of men said they had sensitive skin. Poor lambs. So they brought out this range, which is coming into boots next week, which has got no perfume, no alcohol, so it's irritant free. And we've got some on either side here of this rugged creature's face. <laughs> now if you want to try it, what we're going to do is use a disposable, a Bic or a Gillette razor just down one side. And then on the other we've got, this is a brand new razor from Gillette, it's called a sensor. Mm -hmm. And it has a floating head which moves in all directions. Ah, this is the successor to, to the contour, isn't it? This is, a, this is the next stage for little, just, little springs inside yeah, the actual... Yeah, it feels uh, smaller. What does it feel like? Yeah, it feels really good, yeah. The, it moves to your face. The breakthrough, yeah. you can see it, it actually moves, this Doesn't little it? head. It actually wobbles as you... Yep, yeah, it's a wobbly head. Yeah. Very good for getting sort of round the nose. You know how some men just miss Do you find under bits? there? Yeah. Under bay, you can't quite get it under really the nose. Really difficult, yeah. You've got a sensitive skin. Yeah, yeah, very sensitive. Oh, have oh, you? Oh, oh, poor it's good in there. Who's this every morning? What sympathy do we get? Men have been shaving for centuries, and we shave things like our legs. I mean, why yeah. is it such a It's because such a big I, th I think, you think you're, you're, what you said in the first place is right, Liz. It's because we tend to use products which have got cheap and nasty sort of yep. smellies in them. Too many actually, irritants, exactly. Absolutely. Yep. I noticed you were shaving downwards. This, in fact, the way to shave, apparently, always downwards, never up. Uh, why? See, uh, why? To, to avoid cuts? Yep, and apparently it results in a smoother shave, but you have to keep at it for two or three weeks. Really? Mm, yeah. what, which, way do you, which way do you shave? I always shave downwards. You shave yeah. down a bit rough if you, if you shave up. Oh, I shave mm. upwards. Mm. Oh. Here's another sensitive creature. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shave at all, can you, Gary? Uh, not with an electric, no. no. Well, we're going we're to try and prove you wrong. This is a new product from the States, which is coming over here in the beginning of May. So we've got a bit of a preview. It's from Aramis, and it's called Pre-Electric Shave Solution. And what you do is you... I'm probably going to make a mess of this. If you want to hold yes. the bottle... Yes, it is. <laughs> um, you put it on your cheek, and it's a very clever formula. It's got silicones which buffer the skin. So after putting it on, if you shave, it actually protects the skin underneath the stubble yes. from irritation. And yet after a couple of minutes, it completely evaporates, so it doesn't leave an oily... I, I think Gary's stubble's proving a tough mm. problem here. I think it's it? a bit long, actually, for an electric... Mm. Well, I mean, isn't yes. there a point with an electric razor where you can't actually use it if your stubble's gone, gone too far? Well, what you can do is, on this is a brawn, it's actually got a little... Do you see here a stubble bar? Yeah. Mm. And something else, which I've got over in this yes, corner... Yes, give me a go on, just, just try the stubble bar, uh, see if that works. All the way up, I think. Try going upwards, if you see it. <laughs> oh, but hang on, he's... he's Turning it round. There. Ah, that's it. Oh dear, that sounds painful that. You see, sympathy painful. at last. Yeah. I know, but you know, I can see his skin going actually quite, not surprisingly, I can see it going yeah. quite pink, quite red. I can see that would inflict quite a lot of damage over yeah. the period of yeah. time. Yeah. Well, Aramis have got a shaving event on at Harrods at the moment, which is not a hard sell. It's just designed to teach men how to shave. For, so if, you know, guys think they don't know, mm -hmm. they can pop into Harrods, which uh, if you're in London is... Is okay. Right, and what's this? This is this is for designer stubble and for moustaches. It's a funny shaped gadget. It's again from Braun, and um, it's for clipping 
a bit like topiary, a bit like hedges, you know, cutting some <laughs> <laughs> little, <laughs> little beards and uh, neat moustaches, Hercule Poirot moustache. You can actually so that will actually take, take take the longer hairs, just take them back a bit, but it won't take the, the, the right. hairs down to the actual yep. skin. Yeah, clipping little, we little let Todd beards. Play with that over there. Yes, go on. See, what, see what wonderful have a shapes you can come up with. What does it feel like? By the end of the program. Do you know, yeah, Ben's it's spend, it's um, in there. What, actually pulling it, snapping it, or...? No, just, I just feel it. Yeah. Taking it to one leg. Yeah. You see, the yeah. thing is, yeah. I, I don't it's know... It's like a strimmer. Yes. <laughs> we, we, have, we have a kind of a yeah. poll in the office today, and honestly, the number of men who shave in different ways... I mean, I, I shave upwards, because I think it gives me a smoother shave. Yes. Yeah. Other guys shave downwards. You know, there's so many different ways. Where's this exhibition that tells you how to do it? In Harrods. In Harrods? Yep. Right. Go to, I'm going to go to Harrods. Go to Harrods and learn how to shave properly. <laughs> I think oh. you can see this clean shaving. But men's hair is a shame. Listen, we're going to come back a bit later and see how your poor cells are getting on. <laughs> They're all going to look wonderful and feel wonderful and everything else. We'll be looking at the lengths that some men go to to preserve their skin. Look wonderfully clean shaven now. I must say, it smells a bit like a tart's boudoir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah. Listen, we're on to the unctions, the lotions and the potions and the things right. which, uh, which help afterwards. Yeah? That's right. Well, a uh, guy actually loses half the moisture content from his skin after a shave, so it's very important to put some of that back. Yeah. And what we've got here is... Um, um, this is one I think you've tried, Richard, the Aramis Razor Burn Relief. Yes, it, it has no uh, scent at all. It's, That's right. Yeah. But what it does have is soothing ingredients to actually help heal the nicks and the cuts and the scrapes. Good and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have to put it on myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do actually find it, it, I put it on every morning when I've had a wet shave at about half past six, and I find that I get very red on the top lip, and it takes it away really? in about three minutes. Yeah. Just, just completely lip. goes. Hey, the lip, yes. <laughs> I can't move my front teeth, all exposed. Oh. And this is another one from Clinique. Similarly, it's called Post Shave Healer. Yeah. Again, wonderfully macho. And they're very similar soothing properties. Mm -hmm. Now, these are very good, but they're not the most moisturizing. Isn't it funny the way men's them. products, though, have to have have these faintly clinical names. Oh, yes. Otherwise, I mean, what, what would you just simply call it a moist, moisturizer? But in a man, it's a healer. It has to be doing well. This something. one, this is from Clinique. This is called M Lotion. Mm. And if you open it up, it looks suspiciously like their ladies' moisturizer. But enough said about that. <laughs> it's this yeah. uh, rather nice yellow colour, which is a bit of a giveaway. And um, Tim's got really quite dry skin, so it would actually help to use an extra moisturizer over the top, particularly now in the winter months. Mm. And uh, the skin is really dried out, often by central heating. You know. If you're a guy's working in a centrally heated office or working around smokers. Would you use this kind of stuff, Tim? You wouldn't feel... Not really, no. You think you'd feel, you might feel a bit embarrassed? Yeah, just a bit. Wow. <laughs> Why did you say uh, working around smokers? Is that... It's very dehydrating. Really? Saps, yeah. Oh. Saps the moisture out of the air. And mm. it's just a bugbear of mine anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you got? What else have I got? Well, instead of using a moisturiser, you could go one step further and use an acting, active anti-aging supplement. And this is one I've got here, a little bottle that looks like a Dalek. Again, it's an Aramis product. And these are skin serums, which are supposed to firm the skin and uh, prevent that wonderfully craggy, weathered John Wayne look, which in fact I rather like, but anyway. And you, you have want to put to this on skin. every morning after a shave, basically? That's the best time, yeah, when the skin is exposed, it's its most vulnerable. They sell well. They, they, they're they're selling more ones. and more. Apparently they found out the guys were actually pinching their partner's products off the bathroom shelves. Oh, yeah. So they thought they'd repackage them in more matches sounding names. Let's take a look at the, the, what's the anti-aging properties of this, yes. Aramis Lab Series anti-aging supplement, right. You see, it's all Fine. very, very manly, very masculine. Yes. You wouldn't feel embarrassed going in no? to buy it. What you might feel embarrassed going in to buy is the range of men's makeup. And uh, instead of calling it a foundation, Clinique have called it a non-streak bronzer. Oh, God. <laughs> to give you a healthy glow. <laughs> and... Uh, it looks a bit solid, a bit dense in colour when you first apply it, but you really it's need to... It's very similar again to the, same, the products that women use, isn't it? It's just the like a tinted moisturiser. Exactly the same thing. Would yeah. that come off yeah. in your shirt collar, then? It wouldn't come off in your shirt collar, it would come off with soap and water. Yeah. 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 Gary, so would you buy something face. like that? Uh, I very much doubt it, actually. Yeah. yeah. You actually see the results. You might be transformed and the of how secretly you can do it. Maybe they ought yeah. to sort of, yeah. you know, you, you ought to come away in brown paper bags and things. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if I put that on, and then an hour later, you said, hello, darling, sort of, you know, stroke my face. Would it come off on the fingers? It wouldn't come off. No, no, no. It's not like a powder. You'd notice. Or You'd notice. Yes. notice. Don't worry. What and else on top of that, that? Well, you can, in fact, intensify it. <laughs>
it's about it. Because if you call it, if you, if you sort of say put on, so it's in French, one hopes on. it doesn't mean <laughs> Well, I shall confess here. Yeah, I will confess at this point. Uh, obviously, on television, we have to come under these lights. We all, everybody, all of us have to wear makeup. And actually, Lee, our makeup artist, that's what he uses on me in the morning. Yeah. He uses a bit of that on me in the morning yeah. because he says it's the lightest kind of makeup that I, 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 I can take. So yes. Todd, put it Todd's on. grumbling over there. What's the matter, Todd? Any... <laughs> I'm, I'm not wearing any makeup. Oh, you look awful. Got the wind jacket. He's very good at this, Todd, I'll tell you. And here, for these unruly eyebrows, I've got Estee Lauder's brow gel, oh, good which would just tame the eyebrows into place. And if you wanted to give your eyelashes a little bit of definition, but obviously without looking. Around the shops, finding the latest fashions in raincoats. I can't stand the rain against my window. Bringing back sweet memories. rhubarb uh, health blah 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 um, oh, oh this is a good bit um, uh, Kenneth will go have this woman to thy wedding hello Roy what is <laughs> Conchita you were right Ray she did come back to me <laughs> fan twat in <laughs> how dare you try to marry another woman Sorry, Conchita. You very naughty boy. <laughs> okay, now we must. <laughs> I can't rearrange an entire wedding just like that.
like that. <laughs> I mean, there are rules, you know. But, uh, <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Well, there we are, and I hope you will both be very happy. Ken, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Put in. Conchita business gets a little too much for you and you need a bit of peace and quiet, please don't hesitate to hang yourself. You leave him alone. <laughs> you all right, bruv? Yeah. Listen, Ken. You know, I don't... I don't really like old Conchita. Well, I hate her, if truth be told. But that's not the important thing, is it? The important thing is that you're happy, okay? I understand that. So, if she's what you want, then I'll do the best that I can to accept that and to work this thing out, okay? Okay. All right, good. Give us an ugly big lump. <laughs> oh, oh. And that's why they call it doggy fashion. <laughs> Who wants to know what 69 is? <laughs> about the marriage. I, I just noticed that according to our record, Ken, you're already married. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. What? Yeah, a little dark-haired girl from down Bournemouth way. <laughs> Jesus, Bernie Wainstall! Where are you going, Conchie? You're not used to me now, you fat fool. So now I leave you. I thought you loved me. Love you? The only person who will ever love you is that stinking brother of yours. I hope you're up here together. Really? Ah, oh, well that's fine by me. Go on, get out! No one, no one treats my brother the way you do. Do you hear? We are rock, my brother and me. We stand firm. You can't break a rock with cheap sexual pride. Some things are more important, like trust, goodness, integrity. Go on, get out. Where you go? Any chance of a quick hand shandy? <laughs> sale at Furs Direct. It's colossal and packed with incredible savings. Go direct to Furs Direct. Hundreds of minks to clear from only £179. Go direct to Furs Direct. Superb sheepskins plus thousands of leathers to clear from only £19. Go direct to Furs Direct. With massive reductions and unbeatable prices, you can't miss the Christmas sale. Go direct to Furs Never been broken, that's good. No, never been broken. Hunky Did chest, hair showing. Yeah, well, uh, I left my suit case on the train this morning. This is why I'm, uh, my hairs are showing through my chest. <laughs> Could we look at your backside, please? You'd like to see my backside, okay. <laughs> uh, ladies, is the backside important? Yes. yes. It's it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a gentleman here with a big fat bum who would care to... Uh... That's very courageous of you. I'm, I'm very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> now, which bit of men do you regard as the most important bit? I mean, you're sitting next to...